Garen. Garen. And again, chat. Hello, everybody. Welcome to an exciting episode of the Aaron and Garen Show. I'm Aaron. I'm Garen, and we are the Disembodied Voices. Mm -hmm. Today, we're playing probably the most classic game we've ever played. We get tons of requests for it. That's right, guys. Hashtag, Hashtag water, water game. game. <laughs> Joie de l'eau. Yeah. So, it's got one level of exciting action. Uh, just know that you get zero points for missed calls. But you get one point for a selfie. Ugh. So maybe we'll take oh, a selfie shit. after. I think I got three points. How many points is that? Three. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Riveting action. Oh no. See get in you... there. Get in there. See if you can get just the green ones in. That's never gonna happen. Okay, this is a game about finesse. Well, I got all those one points. They really placed them to where it's easier to get the one point. That's because of a lot of uh, technical technicalities went into this. This game was created by an engineer uh, by the name of uh, Sanjay uh, Suzum Suzumaki. Uh, he's probably French. No, no, no. He, he's not actually French. He was contracted by the French. Oh, okay. Uh, the French government actually reached out to me. him. He's a fam famous um, Indian Japanese engineer. I right? want more five points. He created this game in a lab. Yeah. Uh, it's actually genetically modified. This is an organic game. 100% free-range game. Oh, this is like existence? Yeah, it's cruelty-free. Uh, no, no animals were harmed in the making of this game. Some humans were. Uh, there was one guy who drowned. Oh, fuck. Yes. So they, at first they I heard that... Look at that. All greens. Nice man. You still have balls left. You can't. Oh. You don't win and take it all the balls. That's impossible. It's not impossible. It's improbable. It's hashtag so cool. Oh. Anyway, there there was a I don't know. It's rumor really that they tried to make this kind of like a um, augmented reality experience. So they made it into a giant phone and uh, filled it with water, and you actually went inside of it. But after three people drowned, um, they had to scrap the idea. Doesn't really work like this. You kind of have to hold it up. No, I think you're doing a wonderful job. Yeah, that's great. I think you beat it. <laughs> is this? Is there a boss fight? I at think. The end? I think this is the 100% uh, completion award right here. This is one. Nice. It, it gives you like the kill screen, and they all just kind of float there. I think oh. that's what that is. Oh, look, we just got the achievement for completing it. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so glad. I'm glad you guys could join us. Um, we're going to be playing a ton more games like this. I think we're probably just going to switch our channel over to playing handheld games of this ilk. Yeah, that, so, that sounds great to me. Yeah, enough of this digital garbage. We're looking to get physical here. Uh, so we'll catch you next year on April Fool's Day to play more handheld games like this. Uh, let us know if you have any personal favorites. I know this is probably one of mine. Top top 30, really. Yeah, I played this when I was a kid before the iPhone was out. It's very strange. Like, they had this design for the past 45 years. I know. Like, I feel like Apple and uh, Mr. Jobs <laughs> kind of copied them, really. Look at me work that bubble. Work that bubble around that. Work that bubble. That's, that's, the, that's the pro tips, kids. Gotta, yeah, work, gotta the work the bubble around the center. <laughs> work the bubble, man. <laughs> Okay, we're done. This is it. That's that's enough. Good good night and good luck, everybody. Uh, signing out. If you like this, uh, like it and comment on it and tell us how stupid it is. Uh, we really don't care.